She wants a lean, she want the Gucci. I ride with some harness on me, I got the blue cheek. Pull up in a Jeep, I put it on for a G. I want your body, give me this laptop on the front seat. We gon' fuck for an hour, then we gon' move to the back seat. When you give me a lap dance, baby, watch for the cat, please. Hey y'all, it's your girl Chell Chanel, and if you want to see how I achieved this natural look and want to hear a story time about my first fight, just keep watching. Alright y'all, so I'm about to use this Maybelline. <sighs> it's Maybelline. Let's see if it'll freaking focus. Maybe the pack will focus, let me see. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is the Maybelline um, eyebrow, eyebrow stuff. It is in the color brown. Um, actually, it's black brown. I forgot how much it was, honestly. But it came with this little brush, which I love, oh my God. So. Yeah, y'all, I'm back. Get my eyebrows, boom, bada bang, bada boom. Y'all know how hard that shit is to do your eyebrows off or on camera. It just takes forever, and then you get so focused doing your eyebrows that you don't say shit. So that's why you got. If you know, you fucking know. Dude. You know, I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts to begin how my first fight started. It was so funny. Um, so we are in seventh grade, right? I so called myself like a lesbian or type type shit like i was into girls i don't know why i knew my mama knew it was a face everybody knew it was a face because like that was pretty young i mean a lot of people start out that young and don't you know they end up still being gay but me i don't know what i don't know it was like a thing when i was in middle school and so i kind of just i don't know i went with it whatever middle school was pretty straight like i never really really been in drama for real i never be in drama for real i would say because i don't know i'm just real cool real chill this one girl in particular we were friends like we were cool as fuck we were friends um we never had a problem but she wasn't she wasn't into girls she had a boyfriend or she was on and off with this boy whatever y'all we in seventh grade like Anyways, <laughs> seventh grade, just keep that in mind. We in seventh grade, we're little. Her man that she was on and off with, he thought I was, he wanted a piece of my cake. Like he wanted it, he wanted me. And I wasn't even into him. I didn't pay him no mind. Um, Like he didn't matter to me, she didn't matter to me. No man mattered to me. I was not into men and that's what she didn't get. So this all started because her man liked me and and she didn't like that. Like she was upset, but it was like, if that's your man, boo, know that that's your man. And then know that, that I don't even like boys. So what is your problem? So like a couple of days going on, a couple of days going on, um, a couple of my friends like, so-and-so wanna fight you, so-and-so wanna fight you. And I'm just like, not gonna fight that girl at all over a dude that I'm not even into, okay? Not gonna do it. So, this keep going on, this keep going on. People was calling me scary, pussy, like all type of stuff, every name in the book because I just didn't wanna fight the girl because it was just like, like why am I fighting you? Like what are we fighting for? Like, we're not into the same thing. Your man likes me. You need to fight him, baby girl, not me. But I wasn't scared, y'all. I wasn't pussy. I just found it very, like, 
confusing as to why she wanted to buy me, knowing that I'm messing with this girl. So that was like super confusing to me. Anyways, so one day y'all, after school, like we were walking home. I don't, I don't ever remember me and this girl ever walking the same way to go home. I don't, I don't ever remember that. But this day in particular, her and a whole bunch of people, it's like they already knew, like, or she been running her mouth saying that she was going to fight me. Um, Because she had, I mean, everybody after her. She had everybody coming with her, like everybody. So it's like everybody had already knew that we were going to fight. Except me. The fuck? I didn't even know. I didn't know nothing. I was like, I'm not fighting a girl. What the fuck? That's this Carly Badell, I don't know, the deluxe edition, whatever. It's got like 21 colors, whatever, whatever, whatever. BH Cosmetics. Um, I bought this palette when I first started makeup, but I really like it because it's a bunch of like neutral colors. See so, yeah. y'all, and it comes with this mirror. It's really, I was using this for a while because it actually <sighs> looks good. I might be using it actually right now because it's closer than the mirror right there. I'm gonna take this brown right here and apply that in my creases. Anyways, y'all, so we were walking home and like I said, all those people were following her, following us because they just had already knew, honey. And I was so like confused. Like, I wouldn't say I was scared or anything like that, but I felt like, like they were gonna like jump me or something because it was so many girls. And it was just like, what the fuck? These girls gonna try to jump me over a dude I'm not even, like, into, like, at all. So it was just like, what the hell is going on for real, for real? So we walk in, we walk in, boom, boom, boom. I'm not paying them no mind. I'm trying not to, because it's just like, girl. Um, And I know these two sisters, they're like, she said you're scary, and she wanna fight you. And they snatched my backpack, girl. Snatched my backpack, snatched like all my stuff. And was like, put your hair in the bun, put your hair in the bun, girl. I'm talking about, they was calling me all kind of names. Like, just like, y'all, I'm waiting y'all hear the end of this story because this is just so fake. They was calling me all kind of names, trying to get me to fire her, whatever, calling me this, that, and the third, like. Honestly, y'all, I'm like the coolest person. And, but when you get me going, like, you know, or you do something to get under my skin, get me ready to fight, like, I'm gonna really beat you up. Like, I'm gonna beat you up, and that's just that. But if you don't try me, then I'm the coolest person. You won't even think I'm that type of person because that's how cool I am. I'm cool as fuck. So, these girls was like I said, pulling my stuff, getting my stuff, waiting for me to like, you know, be ready to fight or whatever. So we go into this little area, y'all. And <laughs> this shit's so funny because it's just like, bitch, what the fuck? We go into this little area where it's like bushes and right across the street, there was like some, it was like some car repair or something like that. And then there was a daycare across as, Across the way as well so girl it was so funny um so we go i put my hair in the bun y'all ended up putting my damn hair in the bun like okay this is gonna fight me let's do it so I ended up putting my hair in a bun y'all and oh that's so cute put my hair in a bun and we went over there and we just like got straight to it. You know, that's what happened. One of the girls like pushed her into me, like because neither one of us would hit each other first. And she should have hit me first anyway, cause she went to fight. <laughs> and she was like scared, like she didn't want to hit me. It's like she was like, fuck that. But anyways, y'all. Yeah, she ended up, somebody, one of her friends ended up pushing her into me. You know, that's how the fight, fight gets started. Basically, like, I don't know. 
we just started throwing hands, throwing hands, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> like, really throwing hands. I'm talking about, we was on the motherfucking ground with it, bitch. Like, I beat her the fuck up. Like, I was beating her the fuck up. Like, she almost had me because she was trying to, like, she was trying to, like, go down by my legs and, like, and, like, slam me, basically. Like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I ended up grabbing her, and I don't know how to explain it, but it was like, you know how you take a kid and spin him in a circle like that? It was almost like that, but I had her on the ground, like I was dragging her on the ground, and just like, pop, pop. Like, we was going in a whole circle. It's like, cause, why is you down there? Why are you down there trying to slam me? Like, you're a dude, baby girl. You're not a dude. Get your ass up. So, that's all I'm doing to my eyes, y'all. I just wanna do something like cute. <laughs> something like neutral. So it's like, why are you down there, baby girl? Um, Y'all was so tired. This was my first fight. I'm talking about, I felt like, I freaking felt like I, girl, it was so much. Like I felt like I had just worked out. Like I just ran like a couple miles, just lift a couple weights. Like that shit was actually crazy. Like, it was crazy to me, I think. So, I was just like, there's no way. I had to step away and do my freaking eyeliner and lashes. Because, y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. That shit hard. I'm honestly scared to do that powder shoot. I, like, I don't have time. I have an appointment. So, I'm not even going to try that powder. Because I don't have time to, like, redo it if it's not cute. So, I'm just applying my foundation. I always do i can't do no other crazy stuff because i ain't got time right now apply my foundation y'all um i use the dewy to smooth um it has sunscreen in it spf 18 normal to dry and it is the color warm honey 322 and this is um oh fit me y'all i love this one love it like i really do i really like um I have a whole thing of the matte foundation y'all i love it or matte foundation i loved it y'all but it's um just too dark it's too dark for my skin color and i used to mix some up like during the summer i'm gonna start using that one because i i get so dark during the summer like so dark that's when i start to use that foundation but anyways back to my <laughs> back to my story y'all so we were fighting, we were on the ground, we was tussling, I was slaying her, um, and people just was recording, you know, how fights we were recording. They was not expecting me to be her up clearly because I wasn't doing all that, like, all that running my mouth that they were doing, like, that shit was crazy. Um, I wasn't doing any of that, so. So they was just not expecting me to beat the girl up. They wasn't expecting me. Y'all, we ended up fighting two rounds because I beat her up the first round. And they just was like, uh-uh, you gotta run that back. You gotta run that back. You gotta show that girl. So we ended up doing two rounds. I beat her up again. Um, This is why they say don't fuck with quiet people. Like, don't do that. Like, you never know what, just because they quiet, they not talking shit. Um, and that's what type of person I used to be. Because now I talk shit and back it up. But I used to be that type of person that didn't run my mouth, you know. You just don't have to see by me. I used to be that type of person, but clearly when you get to high school, that shit over with. Like, you you go to when you go to high school. First through the high school I went to, I ain't none of that. This is new. This is my first time using it, and I fucking like it. I'm need a little bit more. Just give me one hour, one hour, one hour. But yeah, y'all, we ended up fighting twice. Beer up, boom. So, um, that shit was so crazy, y'all, because it was just like. We fought for no reason. You got beat up for no reason. I didn't like your man at all. Didn't want nothing to do with him. Um, and you just got beat up for no reason. 
see how that played out. Don't fuck with people when you, when it ain't no beef. Like when it ain't no beef, don't come looking for beef. Like why would you do that? Like me and you were good. We, like, like I said in the beginning of my story time, we were friends. So there was no need for us to fight. Um, we could have, you know, she thought she was that beast during middle school, clearly. But she could have simply came and asked me, you know, she could have asked me, you know, if I liked him or, you know, asked me what he said to me or if I wanted him or anything. Like, you could have just asked me and I would have told your ass, fuck no. I mean, it could have been that simple, it could have been that soft because... Chelsea didn't want nothing with, to do with him. Nothing. Nothing at all, sweetie. So now you just caused a whole bunch of... You just got beat up for no reason. But y'all, at the towards the end of this, this is why I said it was so fun and so big. This bitch was like, um, we cool. <laughs> she, was like, she was like, we cool. Like, the next day we went to school, she was like, we cool. Is we good? Um, she was like, my bad. Or like some shit like that. And I was just like, yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like, wow, well, like you really wanted to fight me over somebody I don't like. Like, are you stupid? You gotta be. Like, you don't do shit like that. Oh, with somebody I don't like, sweetie. Like, you could have. It could have been somebody that I see, like that I was flirting with or anything. Would you fight me over somebody that I'm not even feeling? Like, I don't want nothing to do with him. That's embarrassing on your part. Like, really embarrassing. I know it's embarrassing to all her friends. All her friends thought she was going to have that. No, baby. Stop trying people that don't like to be in beef. Like, because I get active, little mama. You shouldn't have. You should have told you about me. Period. So, yeah, y'all. We ended up squashing it. Um, It's been two years since I graduated high school. So, we, I just seen her, like, a month ago at Walmart, she was like, hey, you know, like that shit been squashed. It's been way over with. Um, I think she ended up liking girls. I seen her like girls in high school, girl. Like, we completely swapped positions. <laughs> like, for real, we really did. It's so funny. Um, so yeah, that's how it ended up going, y'all. We ended up squashing our beef. We ended up being cool. Um, not, I wouldn't say cool, but it was like, we would speak like, hello, you know, what's up? But it's like, the moral of the story, don't don't go after people when, you know, ain't nothing to go after them for. Like, you came after me over or somebody that I didn't want. That's why you ask questions. <sighs> Make sure you know what you're talking about before you do some, some ghetto ass shit like that. Like, and then all your answers will be simple. Like, you don't just do crazy shit for no reason. Sweetie. Sweetie. Y'all, so, I did concealer and I did the powder now. Um, I actually have no problem with this powder. Everybody says, well, I guess it depends on how light and stuff you are. Because this doesn't really affect my color honestly like how everybody says it affects theirs maybe because i'm so light i don't know but it's it's pretty it's fine with me i mean i don't truly have a problem with it so i don't know but yeah y'all that's how the fight ended it was seriously petty because we was cool we was fine right after that like for real it was super crazy like it was no point in us fighting Cause we didn't have no beef ever again. Like it was super stupid. A concealer palette. I do have one. I was wondering where that went. My mama got it. She played too much. Concealer palette, whatever, whatever.
all right y'all so i'll be back with the finished look so um this is the finished look 